Hello, grade six. Welcome to our English six class with teacher Shane. It's nice to have you here again in our online class. Our topic today is all about must and mustn't. Must and mustn't. Repeat after me, must and mustn't. Okay, excellent. So before we start, let's have to know what we need to do. First, take a seat. Second, look at the slides and follow. Third, read each word with the teacher. And fourth, listen carefully to the teacher's voice and enjoy. So English grammar today, must and mustn't. Repeat after me, grade six students. Must, mustn't. Look how I pronounce the word, must, mustn't. Okay, very good. Now, what is the meaning of the word must? Must is most commonly used to express certainty. It can also be used to express necessity or strong recommendation. Again, must is most commonly used to express certainty. It can also be used to express necessity or strong recommendation. For example, this must be the right answer. So this is a strong recommendation that the answer is right. This must be the right answer. You must study hard. So this one is a necessity recommendation that you should or must study hard. Okay, now let's have must not. Must not. So the negative form of must is by putting not. Must not. The short form is mustn't. Repeat after me, mustn't. Look how I pronounce, mustn't. Can be used to prohibit actions, to stop the actions. Mustn't can be used to prohibit or stop actions. For example, you mustn't kick the ball when you play basketball. You mustn't kick the ball when you play basketball. So you are prohibiting him or her to kick the ball when you play basketball. Okay, so let's have more example. He must do his homework. He must do his homework. So this one is necessity recommendation. The necessity recommendation is to do his homework. Okay, very good. Next we have, she must wear a helmet. She must wear a helmet. So this one is strong recommendation to wear a helmet. Next we have, he mustn't sleep in class. He mustn't sleep in class. He is prohibited or he's not allowed to sleep in class. You must stop here. You must stop here. So this is necessity recommendation, a strong recommendation that you should or you must stop. You mustn't cross the street now. You mustn't cross the street now. So he prohibited you to cross the street. You mustn't cross the street now. He mustn't kick the ball. He mustn't kick the ball. So she is prohibiting him to kick the ball. Okay, next let's have another. You mustn't 
touch the ball with your hands. You mustn't touch the ball with your hands. So he is prohibiting him to touch the ball with his hand. Next we have, okay, so let's have quick activity using must or mustn't. And we call it driving test. Are you ready? Very good, good to hear that. We have you blank turn left. You blank turn left. Look at the symbol or the sign. What do you think the answer? Must or mustn't? Must or mustn't? Very good. The answer is must. You must turn left. Next, we have you blank turn left. You blank turn left. Look at the sign. It has red on it. What do you think the answer? Must or mustn't? Must or mustn't? Very good. The answer is mustn't. You mustn't turn left. You mustn't turn left. Next, we have you blank stop here. You blank stop here. So look at the sign. Look at the sign. It is red. So what do you think is the answer? Must or mustn't? Must or mustn't? Very good. The answer is must. You must stop here. You must stop here. How about this? You blank park here. You blank park here. So look at the symbol. So look at the sign. It has red on it. So what do you think the answer? Must or mustn't? Must or mustn't? Very good. Very good. The answer is mustn't. You mustn't park here. You mustn't park here. You blank turn right. You blank turn right. So look at the sign. It says you have to turn Right, so what do you think is the answer? Must or mustn't? Must or mustn't? Very good, so the answer is, oh no. The answer is must. Very good. Next we have, you blank enter. You blank enter. So look at the sign. It has red on the sign. So what do you think the answer? Must or mustn't? Must or mustn't? Very good. The answer is <coughs> mustn't. You mustn't enter. You mustn't. Enter. You blank go ahead. You blank go ahead. So look at the signs. It shows that you go ahead. So what do you think the answer? Must or mustn't? Must or mustn't? 
Very good. The answer is must. You must go ahead. You must go ahead. How about this one? You blank stop here. You blank stop here. So look at the sign, it has red on it. So what do you think the answer? Must or mustn't? Must or mustn't? Very good. The answer is? Is mustn't. You mustn't stop here. You mustn't stop here. Okay, so that's all for today about must and mustn't. I hope you learned a lot today. See you again on our next lesson. Goodbye.